they, there's no one, these leftists, these liberals, were going to approve of anyway unless it matched more of Ginsburg or Breyer or someone like that right. to begin with. But Gorsuch, I mean, here, you know, the other problem for the, I mean, Democrats have got a, several problems here. One is that, uh, you know, several of these senators were on, you know, it, were in the Senate when they did the voice vote approval when he to serve on the bench to begin right. with. So they had already, they didn't have any complaints back then. Right. What's their, what are their complaints now? His his track record on in the court is not, to me, so controversial that they're going to be able to pick that apart. What, what are right. the skeletons in his closet? Barely down the line. Right. Yeah. And then you have the senators in the red states that went for Trump that are up for re-election in 2018. What are they going to do? I mean, aren't aren't they kind of forced right. to kind of support this? So, so I, you know, the Democrats, the idea that they're going to put it, put forth a, a filibuster it would be it would be kind of suicidal on their part. Well, but, you know, but who's doing it? Schumer, right. he's safe. You know, uh, it, it's the safest people who are barking the loudest. But you're right. The people in the in the red states, those what is it, twenty four senators are up in the uh, up in states. I don't know how many is. Trump won or something. It's some enormous. It's the worst imaginable cycle in 2018 and uh you know they're going to find that a lot of the issues trump hits on are the issues they should hit on right in those states and so they're going to have to you know saying you know this guy was his nominee I don't know that that favors them. I don't right. know that they can stand that strong against it. Right, and Joe Manchin from West Virginia, who's yeah. one of those vulnerable people, has already said, "Let's give the guy a chance." Yeah. You know, and Heidi Heitkamp is another one who's very vulnerable. So, you know, they don't Democrats. You know, they're they're down fifty-two to forty-eight, and then they're going to start seeing these others. Uh, I don't see how they stop this guy. You right. Know? I think the, the thing to do is to make this quietly, quickly happen, and hey, you know, nothing we could do. You know, the right thing. The guy's not a terrible pick. Right, and you know, if the Democrats want to appear <clears throat> above the board, then they really ought to. They need to move this forward, and they can say, "Look, they could, they could use that angle of saying we're better than the Republicans. You know, we're actually going to go do this. Right. You know, which might make up a little bit for some of the other things they've been doing, which have not been working out too well. But the other thing is they don't understand how to deal with. They still have no clue how to deal with Trump. Right. right? So you know, you could go to Trump and about you know the same thing as like you know boycotting the meetings, the committee meetings, and trying to keep the nominees from going through. You know, go to him and say, you know, we can make all this happen for you for blank, 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 right? And he's a deal maker. He's going to, you know, half the stuff he's, he's fine with giving them anyway. Right. So, you, you know, you need to start thinking about what you can get, what you can trade for this. And then you can go to your people and say, yeah, we have this disastrous president, but we're actually getting a lot out of him because, you know, we're, ma we're holding his feet to the fire and all this stuff.